Hey everybody and welcome to That's Football, I'm Mark Goldbridge and Man City are a club in crisis. Is this the beginning of the end for the 1-1-5? Look, you've got to be very careful, there are legal cases going on, but the vast majority out there are not happy with what Manchester City have done and many are saying they're cheats. They are cheats who are trying to tie this cheating process that they've been through up in legal delay and challenges um, making a mockery of the league that they've won six of the last seven out. They've benefited from it and now they want to create a civil war. What is going on? Well, there is a case against the Premier League next week between Manchester City and the Premier League calling their anti-competition rules tyrannical, saying that it's unfair. Why are they doing it? Probably because some of those rules that they're trying to get changed are breaches that they've been accused of as part of the 115. Now, let's get into this. It's going to open up a lot of comments. Of course, we'll get Man City fans in as well. And of course, you're innocent until you're proven guilty. But that doesn't mean that when details of charges and details of counter charges and accusations are coming out publicly, you can have a bloody opinion on it. And that is what we're going to do. So get your comments in. Because I think, personally, this should be the beginning of the end for Manchester City in relation to these charges. I remember somebody saying to me three or four years ago, Man City have got so much money that they will bog this down for years and spend the money that they've got lots of to, you know, slow the process down, try and find a technicality. Of course they will. Of course they will. And that will irritate people and Man City fans will protect their club as they should do. I've got no problem with that. Man City are very, very wealthy. Man City fans want to protect their club and everybody else wants them to get done for what they've done, which is dominate the Premier League. You know, what, the rights and wrongs of that, absolutely fine. But let's call it what it is. Most non-Man City fans want Man City relegated because they're dominating the league and people think they've cheated. And Man City fans and the owners of Man City want to stop that happening. We don't need to fall out about it, but it's logical that there are two sides here. So what is this all about? So yesterday it broke that Manchester City are going to have a case against the Premier League where they want compensation and they want to challenge these rules that were brought in in 2021 where there would be scrutiny on what effectively, in very simple terms, is the Premier League voted in 2021 to have more scrutiny on third-party ownership sponsorship deals. So, for example, if Man City or Newcastle's wealthy owners own a business that, you know, is a sports company and that sports company says we're going to sponsor Newcastle for a hundred million pounds a month, then the Premier League rules would say, well, that's not fair. That's not, a, that's not competitive value and we can stop that deal from happening. So what Man City are basically saying is that the Premier League have never shown any um, evidence that it's anti-competitive and it's not fair and that, that actually these rules are tyrannical and therefore, you know, um, that, that they're not lawful and therefore it should be overturned and this happened in 2021. So that's three years of deals that they could have had, which is a lot of money. So they're also going for compensation as well. Um I think that this, to me and many other people, if you look at the 115 charges that Man City have got, some of those charges relate to money being funneled into Manchester City, allegedly through sponsorship deals that were inflated through companies that um, Man City may or may not have owned. So basically, everybody can see what this is all about. If Man City are now challenged, because you know, some people have said, wow, it won't stop them getting done in the 115 because the 115 was from like 2010 to 2018, whereas this is a rule that they're challenging in 2021. You're wrong. If Man City can win this in 2021, saying that rules that say you can't have third party sponsorship deals that you decide the price on, if they win that next week, then they can then go to the 115 charges and say, well, if this is not right now, it wasn't right then, we'll have more comp I mean basically they're trying to say that the Premier League rules are unfair and if they win they'll sue them so Man City to me are biting the hand that's fed them 100% they are basically causing potential civil war in the in the English game um, if they win this they want compensation from the Premier League and they want to be proven that you know they have broken the rules but they were right to break the rules because everybody else followed rules that weren't correct in the first place 
it puts Man City very separate. Apparently one club has supported them. We can't speculate on who that is, but I would imagine it's a football club that's got very wealthy owners that wants to spend a load of money that they can't because they don't comply with financial fair play and they can't inflate sponsorship deals. Feel that one out. But um, this is an opportunity for every other Premier League club to vote against Man City. Um, this is an opportunity for the Premier League to, um, you know, win, win a significant victory against Man City. My concern is that Man City will have a hell of a lot of money to spend a lot of money on law, uh, lawyer fees and technical experts and are the Premier League competent enough to fight this as well. Um, it could be very damaging to the game, but ultimately I think the perception, whether it's fair or not, is that uh, Manchester City here are effectively trying to strengthen their case of the 115. The 115 charges relate predominantly, in my opinion, I don't know how many charges relate to this, but the real issue when I've looked at those charges has been that Man City somehow managed to get a load of money into their club year after year that they weren't legitimately earning. Like, how does a club that's facing relegation and not, you know, be a big player suddenly be able to spend loads of money every year through deals that are absolutely not comparative to another club. You know, Man City were getting sponsorship deals that were massive compared to someone on their level. Um, so if you challenge this in 2021 and say, well, yeah, you can, because what they're trying to say is that if we third party own another business and we decide to give Man City a billion pounds, then we should be allowed to do that. Well, of course, it's a load of crap. And I'd be stunned if the Premier League can't prove that third party sponsorship deals are unfair. Of course they're unfair. Of course they're unfair. You know, what about what about somebody like Ipswich Town? Do they own does their owner of Ipswich Town own Apple? Can Apple knock on the door and say we're gonna sponsor the whole of Ipswich for four billion pounds a month? Oh yeah, we'll spend that on buying Mbappe from Real Madrid. That's the stupidity of third-party rules if you don't have uh, some sort of uh, element of, uh, of fair play in there. Um, so on a very simple sense, I don't know how Man City win this because what they're trying to say is that, yes, we own lots of third parties and we want those third parties to sponsor Man City because it helps us, it's our business and you know we get awareness of brands and I get all of that. But there has to be some sort of regulation whereby... You know, if Man City say, look, we do own this computer company and we want to put it on the shirt and we want to give them a billion pounds for the year, then the Premier League would say, yeah, but look, Nike gave Man, Man United a million, a uh, hundred million for the year. You can't have a billion for a shirt sponsor. It's ridiculous. It's it's clearly inflated because you want to funnel money into the club and, and, and uh, counteract financial fair play rules. You're not doing it. It's our Premier League. So... And I suppose that's what it comes down to, really, isn't it? It's our Premier League. It's not Man City's Premier League. Um, this is rich owners trying to dominate a league that they've been invited to be part of. If you don't like it, have a word with Perez and go and start a Super League. The Premier League has can be the best league in the world. We've lost our way. We've got a club that's won it six out of seven with 115 charges on it. That damages the integrity of it because the case needs to be heard. We've also got bad officiating. Um, there are issues with the Premier League, but at its very fundamental point, it's Division One, like it was before the Premier League. It's it, it's our league, uh, and Man City are damaging the fabric of it to try and protect themselves. Ultimately, if they win this case and they they beat the one one five, what are we left with? We're left with a juggernaut that can pump as much money as that they like from their very rich owners and absolutely dominate a league that's worked hard to share out money in relation to you know earnings for other clubs. So for me, I think this on the face of it looks like Man City against football, and therefore I think it it is Man City in crisis. They might well win this case, but it would be bad for football. I understand why they're trying to win it. Absolutely, I understand why their fans are going to back them absolutely but this is a selfish act to try and bog down technically legally a case that's against them um in relation to the 115 and the premier league has to win this and every other club has to be behind the premier league in relation to this because we don't want a league where a very very rich owner can buy any club and go here's a sponsorship deal that's completely inflated we're going to chuck a load of money in and we can go and buy erling Haaland. you know there has to be there has to be rules and regulations Get your comments in. What do you think this is going to be the start of? Who knows? 
But I think it's very, very clear in my opinion that this is Man City doing what many people said they would do, chucking a load of money at many different avenues to try and muddy the waters and protect themselves, which is their right, of course. Um, get your comments in. Smash a like on the video and subscribe. I'll speak to you on the next one.